In this video, we're going to talk about carbon and how that contributes to molecular diversity. So carbon is a really important atom in living systems. Anything that contains carbon is termed an organic compound, so it's very important in all forms of life regardless of what that form is. So the reason it's so important is because carbon is able to form four bonds with four different atoms. And this is because of carbon's four valence electrons. So it has four valence electrons, which we know are the electrons that are actually involved in making bonds and they're important for the reactivity of elements. So it can make four bonds with four different things. So this is super important and it's super helpful uh, for living systems. So some examples of molecules that contain carbon, so organic molecules. Um, so this one right here is just your typical fatty acid, so a lipid. So we can see that carbon in this molecule alone is binding to hydrogen and it's binding to oxygen as well as other carbon atoms. And so this is going to be a nonpolar substance. It's going to be very important in forming um, cell membranes and in other processes in our bodies. And again, this is possible because of carbon's ability to form four covalent bonds. So moving on to this molecule, which is glucose, so that's going to be a carbohydrate. Again, we can see carbon being bound to all sorts of different things, the hydrogens, oxygens, other carbons. Um, and again, it's able to do this because of its ability to form four covalent bonds. And so uh, lastly, we'll look at this molecule right here, which is an amino acid, which is important in building our proteins, which is arguably the most important things in our bodies. So we have carbon, it's attached to uh, nitrogen to another carbon, a hydrogen atom, and then this R stands for the variable side chain on that amino acid. So all of these molecules are uh, made possible because of carbon's ability to form these different covalent bonds. So that's why carbon is so important to living systems um, compared to other elements. It's readily available in, uh, in the environment uh, it stays within the biological circulation between our bodies and the environment and the atmosphere. And then that combined with its ability to form four covalent bonds just makes it a really great atom to use in life supporting process. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.